This is GHO Fan 2001 to tell you it's the five year anniversary of a failed internet sensation called Coney 2012. What's it about, you may ask? Well, some of you may know what it is, some of you haven't, so I'm going to explain it to those who haven't heard of it. Coney 2012 is a 3 minute documentary published on YouTube on March 5th, 2012, which is about bringing you Ganon Warlord Joseph Coney to justice. He is wanted by the International Criminals Court for his atrocities, which is kidnapping children and forcing them to kill his parents, uh, kill their parents, I mean, sorry. Force his children to care to kill their parents, turn the boys into child soldiers, and turn the girls into sex slaves. Yep, and he makes them mutilate people's faces. The goal of the video was to target celebrities and policymakers and to put up signs related to the campaign all over your local town or wherever you live and to bring him the justice of the horse. And here is what's wrong with the campaign. They are answering a wildly complex issue. They do not say whether Joseph Coney is alive or not because there is a lot of speculation that Joseph Coney died in 2006. Which is roughly, as I am publishing this video to YouTube, 11 years ago. The film, which has over 101 million views as of now is just propaganda. Its main target was kids under the age of 12, myself included at, at the time. And that is a very vulnerable age to brainwashing. Very, very vulnerable age indeed. And I didn't find out the truth until summer 2016, and I created a pl created a playlist on my channel. If you check out my channel. So what are my thoughts on covering tonight? Vandalism. That's the only word to describe it. You just put up posters and you just vandalize your town. With all this Coney crap. You know how much that going to cost for the town to clean it up, you know? What's my final conclusion? It's something good that was done in the wrong way on this very day five years ago. Joseph Coney may still be at large, but I don't think he's at large. I think he's dead. The Lord's Resistance Army, which he leads, just left Uganda 11 years ago as I'm recording to this video. So, you should spend your money to a bit... Oh wait, speaking of which, want to know what happens to your money when you donate it to Invisible Children or when you have done it? It goes through the SBLA, Sudan People's Liberation Army, accused of having child soldiers, which is very ironic because... Invisible Children condemns that. And you should see the photo of the founders of Invisible Children with the SBLA and that they are holding guns despite the fact that they are pacifists. To sum it up one last time, it's a good thing done in a wrong way. You should donate your money to better organizations like uh, UNSF, Doctors Without Wars, Red Cross, The Million Bones Project, and so on. And by the way, what Coney did is wrong. That's the only thing that's good. I'd be sorry. That's the only good thing that's true. Sorry. I, I'm just trying to say that Coney's actions are just they're just wrong. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a good intention to bring him to justice, but we won't do that. He's dead, most likely. So do some research before supporting cause. And by the way, I'll put Coney 2012 in the description below. Link in the description below.